In this video I will be installing my Rocky Mount 9mm fork mount for bicycles onto my tent trailer's roof rack and bike support. Currently I'm using the Sport Rack bike mount which has um, the ability of keeping both tires on the bike with a stabilizing arm that swings up and hooks onto the frame. However, due to the size of the frame of my bike, I don't find it the most secure way of hooking it up. So what I decided to do was to get a fork mount, as you see in front of you, uh, attach that to the bike rack itself, thus allowing me to remove the front tire, securely fasten the forks to the frame, and then maintaining the stabilization arm of the rack itself to hold the frame securely in place. I feel this will give it a much safer mounting and keep it safe as I'm going down the road and no chances of losing my mountain bike down the highway. So um, this was purchased at eTrailer.com where I make a lot of purchases. Great site, fast delivery, good prices, amazing customer service. I definitely recommend them to everyone. So once again, this will be mounted to my Sport Rack bike mount, which is attached to my Sport Rack tent trailer roof rack. So here we are at the trailer. We'll be installing the fork mount for my mountain bike. As you can see, this is the sport rack bike mount that has uh, is made to have the wheels both on, but I find it very unstable. So I'm going to be putting the fork mount as well as having the body support that comes with the rack. So the fork mount will be going right here. What I'm going to be doing is using the bolt holes and then drilling some holes into the bike rack itself to properly fasten and secure the fork mount onto the rack. So now we're about to get it mounted. The only issue I ran into was for the bolts. They weren't clearing these plastic knobs that hold the rack down. I'm able to get the center bolt in, but then the two coming down were just touching into the knob. So I'm going to take my grinder to both of them and just make more of a relief for the bolts to come down. I'm just using a um, three inch bolt like this. It's going to come into the hole from down and then come through this hole here. In the middle we have a pre-existing hole coming through and on this side same thing once the relief is made into that plastic knob it'll come all the way through. So what I did is I took my Dremel and I was able just to shape it down a bit so that way the bolt that I'm going to mount for the uh, fork mount will clear this knob. Very little it needed, but needed some anyways. So here you can see the fork mount installed. Bolt through the middle, two on either end. Washers and lock washers to hold it securely in place. Well here we can see the bike installed now. So everything came out the plan. Forks are nicely mounted inside the mount. And I was still able to retain use of the support bar, stabilization bar from the original rack with the locking mechanism which is really nice and that's what I was hoping to do. So that's pretty much it for this bike. I'm uh, very happy with the end result as the bikes can be very secure when going down the road. And that's it. So once again that was the installation of my Rocky Mounts fork mount onto my sport rack bike rack which is mounted to my tent trailer roof rack. Thank you very much.